I'd like to talk about the distributive property. You can see the distributive property in lots of different ways. Sometimes it's just with letters, like my first example up here. Remember the distributive property means that I need to distribute this multiplication that's between this A and this parentheses uh, into everything that's inside the parentheses. So I need to multiply the A times the B and also times the C. So A times B is just AB and A times C is AC and my plus sign stays the same. Now I can't do any more with that because they're letters and it's not set equal to something so I can't solve. Um, let's look down at the numbers. It works the same way. Now if I followed order of operations I would add 2 plus 5 which is 7 and then times 3 which is 21. Well, using the distributive property we should get the same thing. So I'm going, to or I'm going to distribute that multiplication, that three times, into everything inside of the parentheses. So three times two is six, and three times five is 15, and I keep the addition. And if I add those together, indeed it equals 21. So it worked. Okay, you can also think of the distributive property as an area model. Now I have an area model down here. I have a, a square that is x by x. And the way we find area is multiplying for a square side by side. This um, part of it would then be x squared, x times x, or x squared. And then this part here, this rectangle, is x by 3. And if I multiply x times 3, I get 3x. And so that ends up being x squared plus 3x is the area of that rectangle. And that's another way of thinking about the distributive property.